Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be my July reading wrap up. I read a total of 18 books in July, two graphic novels, and um, 16 physical books. Okay, let's jump right into this. I don't have much time to um, talk about the books today because uh, we are going camping and we are leaving in like an hour-ish. So I have to get going. So the first book I read this month, if I can find the page in my reading journal. First book I read this month was The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox, Oster Tag, and I rated this 3.75 stars. This was a graphic novel that I picked up from the library, so I do not have a physical copy of it because I have already returned it. So, 3.75. This book was not what I thought it was, okay? So, um, pretty much this girl, can't remember her name because I didn't care that much, um, finds this girl from the sea called I can't remember her name either, but, like, she's half seal, half human. Oh, okay. Next one I read was This One Summer by Jillian and Martino, which I rated this 4.25 stars. This was just, like, this was also a graphic novel that I picked up from the library. Um, this was also a graphic novel. Um, this one's about two girls on, uh, in, like, this house for the summer. That's pretty much it. The next book I read was Free Fall Summer by Tracy Barrett. I rated this 4.5 stars. This was just a regular book um, about a girl. I can't remember her name, but it's like a skydiving book. And like, there's tons of drama and stuff. It's pre It was pretty good. Okay, next book I read was Camp Confidential Number 2, Jenna's Dilemma. I rated this 4 stars. Um... This was pretty good. Um, okay, this book was about, follow, is in Jenna's point of view, and she has two siblings that go to this camp with her, and she's just, like, annoyed with them. Um, four stars. Uh, next book I read was Camp Confidential number three, Grace's Twist. This I rated 4.25 stars. This book is follows Grace in Grace's point of view, and Grace is lonely because she doesn't have a best camp friend, and everyone else does. Um, yeah, pretty good, 4.25. Um, next one is Camp Confidential number four, Alex's Challenge, and Alex, um, in this book, she has something wrong with her, which I'm not going to say if you haven't read this. Or if you're wanting to read this because it's a big spoiler um this was 4.25 stars so pretty good the next book i read was starfish by lisa flips this was 4.25 stars i read this in a readathon which you totally need to go watch that video um this book was really good um followed a girl i can't remember her. i can't remember her name um followed a girl who was a bigger girl and she was fat shamed her whole life and like she finally got justice or whatever then next camp confidential number five ttyl this was 4.25 stars i read this also during the readathon um this one was pretty good it was like it was in a couple different point of views um and the girls are home from camp now so, it was, it was decent. Then, I read Camp Confidential number 6, RSVP. This one I did not like so much. It was 3.75. I also read this in the readathon. Um, this one was in different point of views, but it wouldn't tell you when it was switching point of views. So, like, it'd be in one girl's point of view, and then the next paragraph would be in different ones, and it wouldn't tell you. So, I didn't like that. This one was the camp reunion. So, like, six months after camp ends, they'll do a reunion like before camp starts or whatever so that was this i rate it 3.75 not not very good um next book i read was camp confidential number seven second times the charm 
I started this in the readathon but didn't finish it. This was 4.5 stars. Um, this is when the uh, girls go back to camp. Um, next one was Wish You Weren't Here, Camp Confidential number 8. This one I rated 4.25 stars. It was followed a girl named Sarah and a girl from her school came to camp and um, she wished she wasn't him. She wished that that girl was not there. Next one was Camp Confidential number 9 and this one is in Priya's point of view and she um, is has had a boy best friend named Jordan his, her whole life. Then Jordan realizes that he has a crush on Priya's friend Bryn. So then Priya realizes that she actually likes Jordan and wants to date him. But yeah, that was 4.5 stars. The next book was The Summer of Bitter and Sweet. Also a library book. If they're up on the screen, like not, I don't have a physical copy of it. They are from the library. Just pointing that out. Next one was The Summer of Bitter and Sweet by Jen Ferguson, 4.25 stars. This book followed, I can't remember their names. This girl followed a girl who um, worked at an ice cream shop and there was tons of drama and it was really good. Um, 4.25 stars. The next book was All the, Bright Bla All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This was five stars. Five stars five stars okay this book was so good okay i loved it um first five stars of this month actually so this book is in two point of views which i love so there's violet and there is finch what's his name so it's in two point of views and um yeah very sad book i didn't cry but i was very 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 close to crying it was very good Next was Dress Coded by Carrie Firestone. This was 4.75 stars. Um, it's about just this girl who starts a podcast about the unfair dress code at her school and gets justice. So that's that's good. Next was Over and Out, Camp Confidential number 10 by Melissa J. Morgan, 4.75 stars. So I really like this one. This one was, um, I think, my favorite of the Camp Confidential series so far. Um, so pretty much this book follows Jenna, and Jenna is known for her pranks at camp, and, um, this year she is not doing any pranks. She doesn't want to get in trouble, doesn't want to get sent home, so she's not doing any pranks. Um, but then this new boy shows up, which is the camp director's nephew, and he starts doing pranks and framing Jenna, which is not good. But then they do Color War, which is, like, the whole camp gets separated into two colors, red and blue. And then I really like when they do color war in the books. So, yeah. Then I read... Uh, okay, so I was reading Falling in Like, which is the Camp Confidential number 11. Which I read a lot of this. But then it was July 30th. And I went to the store and I bought The Grandest Game. Because it came out on July 30th. And I filmed a vlog for this, which I don't know if it's going to be out when you're seeing this video, but it'll be coming very, very soon. Reading vlog of me reading The Grandest Game. Okay, I'm going to give you my review for this one, even though I finished this one after The Grandest Game. Anyway, Falling in Like is in Tori, Priya, Valerie's. I think there's only three point of views. Those three point of views. And each of them, um, Valerie is dealing with her stepsister, which her stepsister is very mean. And then, um, Tori developed a crush on this, um, famous actor's son. And then Priya is having a fight with her best friend Jordan. And she also is falling in like with this boy named Riley. But this was 4.75 stars. Very good. Finished it last night. And technically, I finished this and The Grandest Game on August 1st. Because today is August 2nd when I'm filming this. But I'm counting it that I read it in July. Because I mainly read both of them in July. Okay. Next was The Grandest Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Okay. This was five stars, okay? Five out of five flipping stars, okay? So, 
this book is dual POV. There's three point of views. You follow Lyra, Gigi, and Rowan, okay? And this book is a game that Avery Kylie Grahams from the Inheritance Games books created called The Grandest Game. And they have to, they get chosen with golden tickets or they find a golden ticket and they get to be in the game. And if they win the game by doing puzzles and stuff, um, then they get $26 million. There are seven players that were chosen, okay? And so then the Rowan, Lyra, and Gigi were playing the game, obviously. Um, that's all I'll say, but... Let's just say I was not happy with how it ended. Okay. So, this was five stars. It was really good. Plot twists were plot twisting, okay? Jaw on the floor. The tension in this book between characters. Insane, okay? Um, but yeah. That is all the books I read in July. It's now August. I'm going to pick my TBR for August now because I don't really want to do two separate videos because it's not going to be um, a long video if I do. Um, if I do do it, picking my August TBR. So we're just going to do it now. So in my on my August TBR, I would like to read the rest of the Camp Confidential series and I would like to finish um, up my library books. So the library books I still have only two. If you watched my last Picking My July TBR video, you'll know that I had like 11 library books that I, I had um, gotten and I have to read them. So I only have two of those left now. So I have The Island in Love and Gelato, which I'm packing those to go camping with me. I'm only going to be camping for three days, so um, I don't know how busy I'm going to be camping, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to do, but I'm just bringing them just in case. And I'm bringing two Camp Confidential books. Also just in case. But, um, so, anyway. Those are on the TBR. Um, and I think this month, if I like the first Love and Gelato book, I think I want to read the other two in that series. Um, and I want to finish up the, um, the Selection series, which... That's just in maybe it's on the TBR. I don't know if I'll get to that. But yeah, I think that is all for the TBR this month. Um, thank you for watching. I um, hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, yeah, I hope you got a lot of your books read for um, in July. And I hope you, I wish you a good August reading month. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to, and share this video to your friends if they like books. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace. I'm gonna sneeze. Next one was he's crush as. Oh, what they call it? Um.